You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It is Soap Dirt on YouTube. We want to talk about what's coming up the next week or so on Young and the Restless, and we've got five sizzling hot predictions for the major storylines that are going on right now. We want to talk about some rival weddings. We want to talk about a tween who is out of control. We want to talk about a CEO who's out of control. (laughs) We want to talk about a marriage breaking up and someone taking revenge for something done to them a long time ago, karma served cold. And no, we're not talking about Cameron in that spoiler. All right, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless casting news, spoilers, all the info you need to stay ready for your favorite CBS soap opera. All right, let's dig in. Our number one prediction is that Diane Jenkins and Jack Abbott are going to throw a surprise wedding, an impromptu celebration. Here's why I think it might be a surprise wedding. That's because there are two brides under the roof of the Abbott Mansion, and they are both doing everything they can to annoy each other. That's Diane Jenkins and Ashley Abbott. Ashley and Tucker just revealed to Diane and Jack that they are planning to get married in August, so in about six weeks or so. And they basically were talking about how they're going to steal the thunder from Diane and Jack's wedding and no one will want to come to their wedding because they're going to be all wedding doubt from being with Tucker and Ashley. So I picture that Diane will want to steal Ashley's thunder and have her wedding first, especially after these catty comments that Ashley made. So I tend to think that Diane and Jack might throw a surprise wedding at the mansion, just invite people over, say it's a party, and then bam, we're getting married. That way they can completely blindside Ashley and Tucker. Tucker, it feels like at this point, doesn't care when the wedding is. He just wants to put a ring on Ashley, but he also wants to annoy everyone as much as possible because that's just Tucker. And boy, do I love Trevor St. John and his the way he chews scenery and plays with the props. He is so much fun. So I think Diana Jack are going to do something to ensure that they get married before Ashley and Tucker do. That's our first prediction. Our number two prediction is that Connor Newman is going to lash out at Adam and he's going to turn more towards Billy. So ever since Connor Newman found out that Adam got Sally Spectra pregnant, he has been suffering tween angst. He's been given attitude at school. He's been worrying Chelsea Lawson and he has snapped at both Johnny Abbott and Billy Abbott the other day when they were all for at society. Connor stormed off and then Bill, I think I can't remember if Billy went out first or Johnny, but at any rate, Billy and Johnny both ended up out there and Connor was just snarking at both of them like, I don't need, you know, you're not my dad and you're not really my brother, blah, you know, typical teen angst. So I think that because we are about to have Sally going into a labor and delivery crisis, I believe, because of her preeclampsia and the promo for this week showing her having these intense stomach pains. I do think she's going to go into labor early. And I think the reality of his little sister being born is going to push Connor over the edge. I think he is going to really lash out. And I think he's going to focus that rage on Adam. And because Adam, if his the new baby is born premature, he's going to have to be at the hospital hospital all the time, checking on Sally, checking on the baby. And I think that is going to have Connor stepping closer to Billy. Fortunately, Billy and Adam are actually finally at a good place. And I don't think that Billy will take advantage of this situation to try and replace Adam as a dad. I think he's just going to be supportive of Chelsea and her son. And I think he'll probably play nice about this. I'm enjoying the way Billy is with Chelsea. I know a lot of people really hate the fact that he is with Chelsea after what she did to him in Myanmar all those years ago, but I like it. All right, our number three prediction is I think that Victor is going to demote Victoria, and that's going to be because she won't listen to her dad about Nate. 
Victoria's already talking about putting Nick Newman on suspension, basically on leave from Newman Enterprises because he got arrested for allegedly assaulting Cameron Kirsten. He did not do it. He's out on bail. And before this is all over, you know, Nick might be arrested for actually killing the guy because the bad guy just kidnapped Faith. He's already killed Faith's cat. And as Adam points out this week, his brother loves to use his fists first and words later. So I do feel like that Nick's at risk. And if she does put him on leave, then Victoria already said she would put Nate in his place. And Victor spotted Nate and Audra toasting each other about their plot to take over the regime at Newman Enterprises. Victor's going to come to his daughter, I believe, and say, you you got, you got to get Nate out of here. He can't be trusted. He's a bad dude. Look what he did, did to his family, and he's now betraying you. He's working with Audra. Victoria is going to make excuses and say, oh, you know, they work together. It's just a meeting, blah, blah. And I do think that Victor is not going to run the risk of letting Nate do anything to his company like the havoc he wreaked over at Chancellor Winters. And I think when Victoria fights with her dad and basically says, I'm CEO, I'm going to do what I want, I think Victor's going to say, think again. And I think he is finally going to yank the reins out of her hands. But we will have to see. This is just our prediction for what we think is coming based on some of the current spoilers. All right. Our number four prediction for the next week or so is that Kyle Abbott is going to hop in bed with Audra Charles and Summer will find out. So in the promo for this week, we see Kyle upset and drinking at the GCAC. Audra joins him for a drink and she is blatantly coming on to him and the soap magazine has some spoilers about this scene and they do say that Kyle walks away from her and leaves the GCAC but they never give the magazine the full spoiler so maybe he'll come back in maybe she'll follow him or maybe they'll meet up again later and he's already been thinking about this but I definitely feel like since Kyle is so upset about Summer Newman betraying him by hiding Phyllis and leaving his mom in prison. I do think that Kyle's going to hit the sheets with Audra. And the problem with Audra is she is manipulative with a capital M. As for how Summer would find out that Audra spent the night with Kyle, I believe that Audra would directly tell her. I think that's what it is, that she would just flat out tell her, hoping that that's the end of their marriage, and then she can sink her claws deeper into Kyle. What do you think? All right, we've got one more prediction, but before we do that one, if you haven't already, please reach down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless casting news, spoilers, and bonus videos for everything you want to know about YNR on CBS Daytime. All right, our number five prediction is that Cricket is going to throw the book at Phyllis. Of course, Cricket, a.k.a. Christine Williams, is the DA in Genoa City right now. And if you have forgotten, at one point, Phyllis tried to kill Cricket, and it was one of her crazy schemes, kind of like crazy scheme that Phyllis has cooked up this time. Now, mind you, this the scheme that she had against Cricket was gosh, 25 years ago, 2025. It was around the time when Phyllis was with Danny Romilotti. So she, Phyllis wanted to kill Cricket, if you don't remember this, and decided to run her down with her car. So Phyllis is speeding towards Cricket in the car and Paul shoved her out of the way and he was hit instead and he was very seriously injured, although he recovered. And when basically up until 2012, Cricket never knew who tried to run her down with that car. In 2012, she found out she tried to prosecute it, but the statute of limitations has run out. So Christine wants to see Phyllis punished and throwing the book at her to punish her over this Diane thing is not quite as good as seeing her punished for trying to kill her, but Christine will probably take what she can get. I do expect she is going to throw every single charge at Phyllis that she can. Let us know what you think about our predictions and what you see coming for the week ahead on YNR. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, 
Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.